I'm Heather and I am the owner of Heathered Yarn Co. Hi, I'm Justine Chanel of Justine Chanel Designs. And we're here today talking about our free patterns for the Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl. Special just for the crawl. Um, Justine and I have each designed a shawl this year for the crawl. Um, mine is crocheted and Justine's is knit. Mm -hmm. And we use the same yarn in different colors. Yeah, um, I love Spun Right Round and it's a favorite yarn of mine. And we decided to feature this yarn during the crawl this year. So if you purchase a Spun Right Round kit, you can get either one of these patterns for free during the yarn crawl. And then after that, you can purchase them. That's right. So mine is, should I go first? Talk Please. about the knit pattern. Yeah, so for ahead. all the knitters coming to the crawl, um, this is called the Sandbar Shawl. And it's made actually using two of the sock yarns held together, which makes it kind of like a DK weight. And it marls. So this color is created by putting two speckles together, which was a lot of fun to choose colors. And I think that all of you on the crawl will have fun choosing your own combinations um, in addition to what we put together for kits. And it created this beautiful marled extra speckled kind of color and there's um this there's some texture in here but i promise it's really easy this is great if you're brand new to knitting shawls um, and you've never done one before this is a great first pattern so it's got stockinette stitch and garter stitch and then just a tiny little bit of pico but an easy version of pico on the edging and so that's the sandbar shawl I love okay. it. Kind of show you how I like to wear them. Mm -hmm. Like this in the front. Kind of bandana style. I'm very cute. Yep. That's also how I like them. And what shawl did you make, Heather? So this is the Dogwood Blooms shawl. Um, it's crocheted and it is a very simple pattern. I wanted to make something that anyone, any level of crocheter could make. Um, it's very easy but I think that like the colors keep it fun and interesting um, and I have two colors here picked out and I normally wouldn't put um, these two together but I really really like how they worked up it's very um, it's really interesting the way the colors play and we have um, this kind of fun little pico also like here so yeah crocheters and knitters two got you very covered. fun shawls for you this year and let's show them what the yarn looks like before so these are my two colors i put together as you can see very different just mm -hmm. on the hank and then once you put them together you get that color combo yeah and here are mine 